because I was not here the last uh, last two days of last week, this I wanted to jump in. the biggest thing going on right now with yes. what we are doing. A hundred percent. JT Daniels. He was granted immediate eligibility at the University of Georgia by the NCAA, and I'm a little irritated about it. And here's why. He announced that he was transferring on May 28th. That's when he put his name in the portal. That's when all this stuff happened. And then he announced uh, after that that he was going to Georgia. And you got to go through all the eligibility protocols and blah, 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 blah. And the NCAA has to grant you eligibility or not. Cade Mays transferred from Georgia to Tennessee. That was on January the 8th. We still have no answer on that one. That's right. Joey Gatewood transferred from Auburn to Kentucky on December the 5th. And we still have no answer on that one. Why is it so easy for some of these, like Justin Fields, uh, what was the Tate Martell hey, going down too. to Miami? Uh, Jalen Hurt, that Jalen Hurts was a graduate, but yeah, that's not why? Transfer. Why do these decisions get made now? Obviously, the NCAA didn't come out and announce this, but JT Daniels came out and said, "Thank you to the NCAA for getting this done." Da 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 da. Why does this happen? Like, Chris, can you give me any kind of reasonable explanation as to why the NCAA would get this one done first, but wait around on these other ones? You, you know can't, my philosophy you can't blame of what it. makes Kirby Smart a good coach, right? The only thing that makes him a good coach, just behind him is just stacks and stacks and stacks of cash. Shut just it. a big big vault of cash that he's handed out to people to get them to come to Georgia. Well, stacks and stacks of that cash went to Indiana. I mean, that's Indianapolis, that's just, wherever the hell the NCAA is. I'm that's in incredible. That. Like, why? But you, you don't think that Tennessee's that's, got it? You don't think that Kentucky's got something? Like, I... I don't, I don't understand. Think, I don't think they know to pay the right people to dust off. Okay? I mean, maybe not. I, I just, I'm so irritated at it. At, when I saw that announcement today, I was and like. if you don't think that that stuff really happens, I w- I'm going to tell you a story. This is a legal thing, state of Mississippi. People that I, I know personally and am super close to involved with, I know this happened for a fact. Legal trouble. Hires. An attorney interviews an attorney, talks to an attorney. Attorney tells them all the different stuff they have to do to get them off. It's going to take a year and a half of their life. It's going to be a big fight. It's going to be this, going to be that. But they're 100% sure they feel, well, 90% sure you're never 100% that they can make this go away and they can get them off. It's going to be one price. No problem. Mom says, no, 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 no. We're going to talk to another attorney. I know this guy. The other attorney says, I need $24,000 in cash. I'll make it go away tomorrow. Mom went to the bank, got $24,000 in cash, handed that to the attorney. And the next day, he had to show up, plead guilty to a misdemeanor, and walked away. And then the misdemeanor never showed up on his record ever again. If you don't think... That's how stuff works. You're wrong. Georgia, uh, Kentucky doesn't know the right attorney to hire to do that. I don't think that is public knowledge. I don't know how that how you find out which one's available to do it and which one is not. But some people have the relationship to get stuff done. Yeah. And others don't. Ohio others State was able to, to get it done it the legit way. I know this. I'm close to these people. I've seen it happen in our justice system. It's a damn shame that that's the way it works in there, but it's how it works everywhere. Wait, it's yeah, you're talking about the actual justice system. That's our actual. That's way we're bigger talking, thing than this. Yeah, we're so talking if you NCAA. Think those guys aren't getting paid. Yes, these people who make bullshit decisions, absolutely getting paid. Who are deciding whether or not a kid is going to get to play in a season that may or may not happen? happen. Like that's, that's insane. Right. Yeah. So can you play football or not? As opposed to, are you going to pay a punishment for a crime? you may or may not have committed. Yeah, it's absolutely And then insane. we're just going to make it disappear. Uh, let's see. Can we say, <laughs> Joseph jumped in on YouTube. He said, can we say that it was a hypothetical story and Chris may or may not have heard it from the horse's mouth? Uh, Chris might know some people. I know some people. Let's we'll just no, say that. Chris I knows some people. I, 100% know, I, I know this happened. Yeah. 
Like I this is a real thing. Happened. This is not a hypothetical. I read, I read, I read the charge papers. I, I was at their house and I, I saw the charge papers. And then he told and me it how it all went out. His mom said how it went out. And he got completely off of everything. Everything just disappeared. And he all thought it took he was going to have money. a misdemeanor on his background for a minute. He wasn't worried about that. And that misdemeanor never showed nowhere up. around. It's un, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So so that yeah, that, that's I'm gonna tell you that the same way Kirby Smart's a good recruiter. It's just stacks and stacks of cash. It's the only reason anybody would go play for him. Talk to him for 10 minutes. Nobody would. Nobody thinks that guy's intelligent. Nobody. <laughs> no, you're, you're right about that. Let's move off of that one for just a minute. We're going to get out of football momentarily. Uh, Damien said that would definitely explain how Jameis Winston uh, for, for away with his rape allegations in Florida State. Uh, uh, yeah. That's... That's yes, a different yes situation. No. That's a different situation. But but that you're uh, listen. Yeah. A lot of powerful people got involved and made something disappear. Uh, Swish Actions jumps in and said, "Kirby isn't dumb. Chill out." Uh, Swish Actions <laughs> must be new to the podcast. Uh, look, we, we and then Ben jumps in and said, "Kirby's an idiot." Look, I like Kirby, Kirby Smart. I do. That's fine. I'm not. I don't think that well, he is I, the greatest. I like a lot of dumb people. I don't think he's he's the greatest X's and O's coach in the history of the world, and he has shown that multiple times. I do think he's a fantastic recruiter, and he understands the way that the college football world works. But the fact that he was able to get this kid eligible immediately after transferring from Southern Cal at the end of May, while other kids in the SEC have not been able to get any kind of a ruling, is still absurd to me. Do you think that if he was the head coach at Mississippi State, he would be the half the recruiter he is? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely so not. So he's not a great recruiter. No, no, he is. It just okay. depends on. I think that he would do a better job at Mississippi State than Joe Moorhead was able to or Dan okay. Mullen That's, was able to. Yeah, but Dan Dan openly does You're comparing him to two people. One, who is a terrible head coach, okay, just a god-awful head coach and had no deserving to be that. And the other openly says he does not really care about recruiting and he just hires other people. So that, that's the person you're comparing him to. Ben said, you mean he understands how to hand out money. Damien said, Kirby is Ryan Pace. Dear God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That love is it. absolutely ridiculous. Um, all right. Let's, uh, when you say somebody's not good at X's and O's, but their job is coaching, that's a, that's a damning statement on them. No, it certainly is. I think like he's good at X's and O's on the defensive smart. side. That that literally is a challenge to their intelligence. I think he is you're smart. smart. You're good at X's and O's because that's all your job is. I think that he is smart on the defensive side of the ball. I think he's like Will Muschamp in that regard. Only I think he's a better recruiter than Will Muschamp is. So, and now a lot of that has to do with where he is, but Will Muschamp at Florida wasn't able to do it. So, yes, he has everything lined up for him at Georgia to be able to be successful. I think he's, it's, I think he's a pretty good coach. I think if Will Muschamp was the coach at Flo- at Georgia, they would be better than than Kirby Smart. Oh, I don't know about that. I I, okay, I, I think Will we, we can. I think I think Will struggled at Florida because the academics at Florida make it. They do make it more difficult to recruit. More uh, difficult, not impossible, but more. Difficult. Da- Damian said Kirby equals Jason Garrett, and then Swish uh, Swish Action said stop it. Uh, I don't I don't agree with that. I don't think Will Muschamp is that good. Uh, ben said, "Muschamp beat Kirby this year." Yes, he did. Everybody can every, a squirrel can. You know find why? A duck, you know why like he beat? No, I beat because he's a better coach than he is, with like a third of the talent. He was playing with his third string quarterback, a guy that's never taken a, practice, a snap in practice. How in the world did we? And Matthew Miller jumps in. He said he's fine with X's and O's. He's bad with game and time management in the sequence of uh, of all of it. He ain't uh, fine with X's and O's. That he's just he's just not. He's just not. I don't know how we got in this. I don't, I don't know how we just like, I, okay. We're, the opportunity we're, I can, I'm going to shit on Kirby. That's I know, fine. I know. That's what you're doing. That's fine. I'm not, I'm not here to necessarily defend him. I'm just giving you my opinion. I think he's all right. I love making so, you defend him though, because it's so weird. I know. It's, it's so hard. It's so hard to defend an idiot. I, listen, yeah. I do it all the time. It's all right. It's, it's very difficult. I will admit that. I have uh, many friends that I have to apologize for Ben, ben said Leach will crush Kirby. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe, I don't know. At not, not at the current schools that they are at, but uh, let's dive into UFC 251.